I love video games, and judging by you clicking on this video, you probably do too. Maybe, possibly, actually now you do. Video games are a huge source of media that entertains us by not only making us watch characters interacting with other characters, but by letting us control the character you play as. I don't think it's funny anymore. So once you buy the game, take out the plastic bag, take the disc out of the cover, turn on the console and throw that shit in. Skip it about and that You feel like your soul left your body and is transported into a video game character. My disappointment is immeasurable. As once you spawn into the game, the game puts its hand on your shoulder and tells you Let's fool around a little bit. With the game offering you a whole world to explore every inch of, a story in which you the player experience for yourself, or the many quests to be completed. But uh, <laughs> but what, what happened if you did all of that? Video games are really disposable as once you finish the entire game that you played for 25 hours long, you just put that game on the shelf and then move on to the next game. And if you were playing an old game from an old console and stumbled onto multiple bugs that ultimately broke the game, then that's the final product that you bought. And in most cases, that very game that you grew up with wouldn't be playable on the next generation of consoles. But one day an idea popped into many developers' heads, saying, We just need money. M -m 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 money shot. So instead of spending tons of money on creating a whole new game, instead came forth what are known to be as... So can someone explain to me why they're remastering the same GTA 5 game that is almost a decade old again? What the fuck you were thinking? What the fuck is going through your head? What did you think was gonna happen? Remakes and remasters have become huge in the gaming industry. With developers looking for a quick way to make money, then pulling out a beloved game out of the box in your garage and then either remaking or remastering it would be the first option. A remake or remaster of an old title can help old fans to once again re-experience the game with new things to offer and being able to play the game in next-gen consoles. And for new fans to get into that title. Okay, who likes Fortnite? <laughs> The real shit, if I gotta sit back and deal with this type of goddamn behavior from these little badass, punk ass, baby, motherfucking, nappy haired ass fucking kids all goddamn summer, it's gonna be a long ass fucking summer. So let's start off by talking about the remasters. A remaster is essentially just an upgrade to the original work and not a remake of it. A really common thing I see many people get really confused with is the difference between a remake and a remaster as they serve a similar purpose except they are two completely different things. What a remaster basically does is improve the sound and textures while also upscaling the resolution and maybe improve the frame rate of the classic to make it more visual stunning to old and new fans. All the remasters do improve the game in some way, you're essentially just buying the same game with nothing really changed. Remasters can either improve the quality of the original title, or in some cases, butcher it. It's... It, it's awful. Even if the graphics were improved, the story is still the same. A game that is beloved by many fans and got remastered would be the Silent Hill HD Collection. I love the original Silent Hill games, especially the second one. Even though I haven't played much of the Silent Hill games as much, I can still see why many people adore this game. The game to me is not the typical horror game you see mostly every game company makes today. The game doesn't rely on jump scares that will most likely scare you but will look pretty lame for shock value. Instead, the game makes you, the player, feel unaware and even scared for every step you take in the environment you're in. But the most positive thing I can think about Silent Hill 2 would be its story. The game is one of its kind, but unfortunately, it was made only for the PS2 and the controls are, well, it, it's something. So remastering the game would be the best idea any game company could have done, except the HD collection was flawed to begin with. The main reason the HD collection was criticized by many was because Konami lost the source code of the original game. So instead, they had to start from scratch and replicate every single thing about the game. Even though this is technically a remake, I would even say this is a remake or even a remaster, but more of a demake. Which they ruined mostly everything about the game and the collection was rushed in development. Another problem when starting from scratch was that they also lost the voice lines of the actors. 
This meant that they had to re-record all the voice lines except there was one major issue. None of the previous voice actors wanted to return which meant that they had to recast some of the actors including the main protagonist James Sunderland with Troy Baker. Look, I love Troy Baker as an actor, but he's basically in every fucking video game. And even if he's a great actor, doesn't mean he fits every character role in existence. James Sunderland is supposed to be this bumbling idiot that wanders around, questioning everything around him. Now replace his voice with Troy Baker and... Aren't you Maria? Aren't you Maria? You're goddamn right. But hey, hey. at least they're making a new Silent Hill game, but with an S... With Hideo Kojima directing it. No more in readers and Gil 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 um uh, uh, Gil. um that guy who made that one Transformer movie. You were wrong. Starring in it. This is gonna be awesome. <laughs> Suicide is never the option. Sometimes. <laughs> But remasters aren't always terrible. Final Fantasy X Remastered was a pretty good remaster and still captured the original charm of the game, just with some upgraded graphics. Even the whole Halo franchise got remastered into one whole collection. Unlike the Silent Hill HD collection, Halo Master Chief Collection does an excellent job at improving the original game, even letting you switch the look of the game back to its original form. It also had almost the whole Halo franchise into one whole collection, unlike the Silent Hill HD collection, which only had Silent Hill 2 and 3. Now, let's head over to the. <laughs> Remakes. A remake of a game is essentially a recreation of the original work and making it stand up to most modern games out right now. Unlike a remaster, developers would have to start from scratch and replicate the game from its original state. Doing a remake of a game is a huge risk than doing a remaster. This is pretty much the case as developers could easily mess up the original vision of the game and could possibly ruin the game. GoldenEye is by all means a pretty solid game, but the controls are, however, sort of clunky since you're playing an FPS game with a control that looks like this. But the remake is, well, it's, uh, it's pretty dog shit. Instead of remaking the game to feel as reminiscent of the original as possible, the remake instead decided to make the game more like a Call of Duty game with uninspired level designs, and even had some of the most underwhelming gunplay in any game. Conker's Bad Fur Day also got a remake for the Xbox, Conker Live and Reloaded. While Conker Live and Reloaded did improve some aspects of the game, such as the graphics and textures, what made Conker so lovable was the cartoonish look it had going for. So making the whole game more realistic makes the game feel a little bit off. Final Fantasy VII Remake and Resident Evil 2 Remake are perfect examples of a remake. Final Fantasy VII fully improves the gameplay from a turn-based system to a real-time system in which you get to freely move and switch between characters. An improvement that Final Fantasy VII Remake did was the soundtrack as they improved this to this and it sounds amazing. Now the voice acting. <coughs> Our beloved planet is dying. Slowly. Silently. I, uh, I fully understand what you're trying to tell me. I'm telling you no. Hell no. Okay, fuck yourself. On the other hand, Resident Evil 2 Remake fully removes the fixed angled camera to a more third person's perspective, which makes the game even much easier to play. The remake also now lets you aim your gun directly at the target, which makes the game a whole lot easier. Although both games try to recapture the feeling of the original work, it should be noted that remakes are not a recapture of the old title, but more of a reimagining of it, as they may remove things that were crucial to the original's charm and release a whole new different game which is significantly worse than the original game. But with every remake and remaster comes- Reboots. A reboot of a video game is not a remake of the original title. Resident Evil 2 was a remake but it still had the same plot and objective without trying to create a whole new franchise out of it. Reboots on the other hand are developers basically scrapping what the original game's story was and making their own new game while having the same title. Prey is a perfect example of a reboot as both the original and rebooted game have nothing to do with each other. Prey which came out in 2006 is a completely different game to what the 2017 version is. Both games follow different protagonists and the enemies look nothing like each other. 
What are you looking at? Real tough guy. Can't even tell her you love her. Doom is also a really great reboot. Although Doom is an entirely new game than what Prey was, Doom manages to be more of a soft reboot to the classic while being slightly connected to the previous games and improving the gameplay. And the soundtrack for the game composed by Mick Gordon is amazing. Instead of using guitars to compose the soundtrack, they instead use chainsaws from Resident Evil 4. Oh yeah, fun fact that no one gives a shit about. The god Todd Howard himself who was in the chess club. I'm gonna make video games and everyone's gonna play them. Like, you dork. Go back to the chess club. Who's laughing now? <laughs> yes, I was in the chess club. Came down from the heavens and literally told me, Gordon, guitars? Get that shit out of here. Chainsaws? Chainsaw's good. Fallout Frame, developed by the god himself, Todd Howard, is another example of a reboot, as they made the game from a 2D CRPG game into a 3D FPS RPG game in which you could freely roam around. While the game still does tie into the lore of the other Fallout games, Fallout 3 still feels very much like a different game. However though, Fallout 3 is a bad reboot, to me at least. Fallout 3 butchers the RPG elements that made the other Fallout games stand out, and it's almost like you're stuck into one storyline the game sets you in. Zelda Breath of the Wild is by far my favorite reboot of any game. Breath of the Wild is a completely new take on the Zelda franchise by being more of an open world game. Breath of the Wild is its own world, and the art style for this game is way different to the previous Zelda games. The game manages to be so different by not even being a classic Zelda game, but instead a whole new experience with the same characters, but in a different world. Remakes and remasters are both respectful mediums when executed perfectly. Remakes and remasters will continue to happen as developers will eventually lose new ideas for games, so remaking or remastering it would most likely be the route that most game companies would go. Remakes and remasters can either go great or insanely terrible, but when a developer fully respects the original work and redoes the beloved game, you may never know how great they may do. Reboots on the other hand have more of a risk of failing than a remake or a remaster as it's a whole new game, which could possibly be a huge disappointment to fans who love the original game. Now, if I were to have the power to choose any game to be remade, I'd remake that one Mr. Bean game on the PS2. No, no, no. I'd remaster Road Trip Adventures, which cars copied off. Actually, no. You know what? That one Boy, Zelda game. Is this the reason why you called me? Um, a remake of the remake remake. That's fucking genius.